Good evening from Yami Bay TV. Wishing you all well. Sending loads of love as usual. Sorry I've been away for a couple of days. Chest infection and all. As well as a double-edged headache. Which I've still got right now. But I felt the need to come up today. I might even go live after the football. Please come on England. It's there for the taking. Well done Morocco. Wasn't that surprising to me after I witnessed the game against Spain, if you get what I mean. They play some good, good football. So it could be that we have our first ever African team that can lift that World Cup. But England, surely, 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 you get past France and Bob's your uncle and Annie's your aunt and anything's possible if you get what I mean. Now, clear it up once again. Uh, only a couple of you have ever mentioned this to me, but I can clarify this as fact. There was a geezer called Gary Vinter, or his surname is Vinter, right? He'd done a sentence for something horrific. He got released and he got another longer sentence. Don't quote me on this, but I think he killed a lady and he came back to the cat A's, right? Now, um, on this occasion, when he came back, or the first time around, I can't remember which bit of both sentences it was, but he wasn't allowed to socialise with normal, um, on normal location with normal criminals, which means that he would have his gym sessions, if not alone, but otherwise with other men that were under, under the same conditions and restrictions of living conditions due to their status and their behaviour in those category A's. Now, on one such occasion, and rightly so, you lot down there in Yorkshire, point out that that fight between Paul Sykes and Vinter, actually, it did take place. And it took place during a session where him, um, Paul Sykes, Vinter, and another man was there as well, right? Now, he tried to creep up on Paul Sykes with a weight, right? Whether it was a Z bar or a dumbbell, but... The other person in the gym Paul, shouted Paul and Paul moved out the way and the weight missed and dropped on the floor. And Vinter, he was a powerful man as well. A lot of men feared him as well, right? He threw about three or four punches. They hit Paul Sykes, right? But they didn't budge him. Paul hit him with two punches, two or three combination punches, laid him out. The PIs didn't know what to do and Paul jumped all over his head, right? So that story is absolute fact as well, right? So how I forgot about that one. Well, well done, you lot, two of you, for, about, for mentioning that to me about when they had their clash. But that's how that clash went. Now, you're asking me about Kevin Fracker. I always try to do things without being biased. But again, a character that I just didn't get along with. And I, I, I could honestly say, not on the same scale as Belfield and B, B Bar and blah, blah, blah. But I hated his guts. I've done the same time with him. Another man, another man who didn't like being on normal location. Allegedly, his crimes are absolutely appalling. Where a lady had a, a child in her hand while he'd done all the madness he'd done. But I'm not here to talk about his crimes because, you know, there's legal stuff around it all or whatever but what I saw from him in prison um, what you're asking me about he was this and he was that and he was tough and many people were scared of him yes 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 I get that and it is definitely 100% true that he stabbed three prison officers with a homemade weapon over a tomato ketchup argument to do with his dinner how about that then and also, I clarify today that it was, in fact, you, Kevin Fracker, that spread the rumour that our Charlie Bronson was racialist, which we all know could never, ever be true. But those are the things that happen down seg windows when arguments are taking place and people tell this that he said that and they said this. We know how it works, if you get what I mean. So hopefully I'll be up after the football to give a great live uh, and I hope to see you all soon or on the mend, but I love you all dearly. And yes, I'm, I'm, no, I won't even promise, but I'm hoping to come up later on tonight. Sending loads of love to you all.